just want to run through the steps of uh, Etcher if you've downloaded it from the, the Zorin website for example uh, you'll end up with a file similar to this one here so we'll just double click that and we'll hit extract and we'll just put it back into the downloads folder we were working from close out of there and there and now it's created this this file here so we'll double click on that just takes a moment to start up and we'll select the image which in this case I'm going to do the this one here Zorin OS 12 core 64 bit so we'll select the image there it is there in the downloads directory where we are and again it's, it's, it's pretty good at this it's basically skipped the second step here because if I go around to uh, my disk utility I've inserted an 8 gig Lexar USB flash drive into one of my USB ports and there it is there SDC and it's actually got Zorin 12 on it at the moment and I'm not even going to format that, you can see it's even mounted I don't think any of that will bother, Etch is pretty good so the main, main thing is to obviously select the right image whichever one you want to burn and um, make sure that it's going to SDC or whatever your drive is if you check that say with your disk utility or, or something similar just as long as it's pointing to there because you don't want to point it at the wrong drive because they usually just wipe it out as I say I haven't even um, formatted this drive or anything but I'm pretty confident this utility works pretty good I'm pretty confident this will um, this will do the job so we'll just hit flash and we'll let that run we'll come back in uh, maybe we'll put the password in first and actually just on that note if you're doing uh, Zorin 12 Ultimate they'll send you a password in your email to extract the file but this is the system password I'm on Linux system here, uh, Zorin 9 in fact and this is actually my administrator password for the system and not the password that Zorin sends you for um, extracting their the .iso file out of the uh, 7z file so this is your system password and so we'll just let that that run through there and we'll come back when that's nearly done well we're just about done a couple of seconds left and then it'll validate what it's just done take another minute or two probably after that to go through this validation process and I'll just pause again while it's doing that and there you go it's just finished validating saw the little notification up here success I'll um, that's saying it's safely ejected I didn't actually test this before but it's not mounted so there's our SDC still and it is not mounted so we can um, just pull that out so I'll just pause and I'll stick that in my laptop sitting here and I'll just double check that it works that did indeed uh, boot up on the laptop it's sitting at the install Zorin OS screen there at the moment and it looks pretty eager to me so that's Etcher it's pretty simple pretty effective pretty foolproof in my opinion I, I think it's a pretty good little tool myself and um, we'll leave it at that